a body starts falling from height h and travels a distance h by 2 during the last second of motion then time of flight is let's say a particle started from this and this is the last point of the particle at t is equal to 0 we have released of one particle here now this particle is covering a distance which is equal to h by 2 let's say this total distance is h and in last second the particle is covering a total distance which is equal to h by 2 suppose total time taken by the particle to reach ground is t so this is t is, t is equal to 0 to t is equal to t then this must be equal to t minus 1 because in last one second the particle is covering a distance of h by 2 right so we uh, can solve this c s is equal to we know s is equal to ut plus half at square so see if i solve for let's say this is point a this is point b and this is point c if i solve for point a and b if i solve for point a and b then we can write distance covered is between point a and achha, first we will solve for a and c then we will solve for a and b a and c then the distance covered is minus h because it is in downward direction initial velocity is 0 plus 1 by 2 into minus g ka t square so h is equal to it, it is equal to phi t square let's say this is equation number 1 now we can solve for a b path a b <clears throat> so see in a b distance covered is minus h by 2 is equal to initial velocity 0 plus 1 by 2 into minus g into t square now this two two cancel out h is equal to 10 t square this is equation number 2 now from this we can write h is equal to 5 t square and wait 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 i think we did a mistake here because time taken to travel from a to b is equal to how much that is t minus 1 so this is minus g into t minus 1 ka square so h is equal to g into t minus 1 ka square right so we have a h is equal to phi t square i will put from equation number one phi t square is equal to 10 into t square minus 2 t plus 1 right so this phi phi cancel out so t square is equal to 2 t square minus 4 t plus 2 right so 2 t square minus t square will be t square minus 4 t plus 2 is equal to 0 now how to solve this uh, let's uh, solve for roots now we can use uh, formula minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so minus b is minus 4 plus minus under root of b square minus 4 square plus 2 into 2 uh, divide 4ac minus b plus minus b square my b square minus 4ac wait here b square minus 4a is 1 c is 2 divided by 2a so t is equal to this will be 4 plus minus under root of 16 minus 8 divided by 2 so 16 minus 8 will be 8 so this is 4 plus minus under root 8 divided by 2 so we can write here t is equal to 4 this is 2 plus minus under root of 2 so we can write time is equal to 2 plus root 2 or time is equal to 2 minus root 2 now this can't be possible because time no no ye is, this is possible right uh, t minus root 2 because root 2 is 1.414 let's check the option we have 2 plus root 2 and 2 minus root 2 so 2 plus root 2 is a correct one so option b is a correct one right